Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I want to show you how I uh, make my 3D sculpts or 3D prints where the head connects to the body. So essentially, I want to take the head and I want to be able to put it into the body. So I have to make the head a key and I think it's called key and cut. And I have to make the body have a cut in the middle. So I'll just show you how I do that. So first the body, if I hit solo, then you see we have this extra space. So this is where the key will go. And I'm just gonna use this bottom part, which is the helmet. So I need to put the key below this so it goes right in. Okay, so first I'll just make the key. So we'll just add a box. Uh, this seems to be working pretty well for me. I'm gonna use the gizmo and I'll just move it up here so you can see it. So usually the way that I make them is I'll just, uh, usually something like this is good enough. It looks like a decent size. So I'm gonna take the helmet and solo it and then I'm gonna go into here and I'm, I'm just gonna uh, select the box as well just so I can see both. Uh, so we're still in solo mode, but now I can just see these two. So I'm going to tap on the box and just bring it over here. So we pretty much, pretty much want something like this. I think that looks pretty good. It actually is okay if it goes a little bit over. That's fine because you're not going to see that because of the other shape of the head. So if we hit solo again, we can't see it, so that's good. Okay, so now, essentially I wanna take, I wanna take the shape of the helmet and I wanna take the box. We can go ahead and uh, validate the box for now. But let's solo it, I forgot, I always do this little thing too, which is just, uh, Something that I tried out and it worked really well. So I'm going to take the box and clone it. And then I'm going to squeeze it and bring it up a little bit like this. So we'll do something like that. And now these two, I'm just going to, I'm just going to merge them together. I can do a voxel merge, although it doesn't really matter. Whoops. I don't think I selected both of them. So we'll just voxel merge them together. So this will be the key. And now we can go to the, and to, actually maybe we can make this bigger. Let's see. So if I do solo, and let me choose the body as well. So if I do solo. Okay. So here I can sort of see it here which means I need to move it back. And let's see how big I can make it. Oh, don't wanna make it that big. So it looks like it's gonna be right around there. You can take the body and you can go to blending. That way we can see both. You can kind of see where it is. So. Unfortunately, I don't think I can move this now because it's inside, but that's okay. So now let's go back to the box and we'll just move it up a little bit. Hit solo again with the box and the body. Okay, now I can sort of see it. All right, so um, we can actually leave it where it is. You, and you know why I'm going to leave it where it is? Because I was just thinking like the helmet's in the perfect spot. So I don't want to actually move, move this. But I do want to look at the helmet and the box now. Just to make sure that they're still... Okay, they're still in, they're still in a good spot. So let me just raise this up a little bit. Just so it's flush with the helmet. So now all we need to do is copy the, or clone this. So this box is the key, and this is gonna be the cut. 
So I'm going to rename it cut. So this will be the cut. So this is, this is what we're going to cut out of the body. But also, uh, I want to add the helmet. So I'm going to clone the helmet and bring it down below the cut. I can connect it. And also the head. I want to take the head and clone it. And I want to bring it down to the cut and connect all these. And the reason why I'm connecting them all is because uh, I want, you know, the bottom of the head. I don't want the, the body. Let me bring back the, the regular body. So I want to make sure that, you know, the body kind of goes up like this. And I want to make sure that everything is cut from above it. You know what I mean? So I want to, I'm going to have to do a bouillon, which is, I'm going to take the shape of this and it's going to cut it from the body. But I also want the shape of the head to be cut from the body. I want everything to be cut from the body. So I'm going to take all of these and just join them. I'm, that, that's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> I shouldn't join them yet. I shouldn't join them yet. Uh, and the reason I shouldn't join them yet is because I have to make the key part bigger. So let's grab just the key and the body and do solo. Oh, and I, I can't see it, can I? So let's take the body and do blending. Okay, so I just need to make this a little bit bigger. So let's go to the cut. In the body and I don't want to be on the cut. I'm gonna hide everything else. Make it a little bit easier. I'm just gonna hide everything else except the ones that we're using. So this is the cut. So this is where this is gonna be attached to the helmet and that's gonna go inside the body but it needs to be bigger than this. So I'm gonna make it bigger. So the body selected. I want just the cut. So I want to make this bigger. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, I can actually look at the key. Let's put the body back to uh, regular, opaque, and let's hide it. And now let's look at the key and the cut. Let's make the cut uh, blending so we can see what we're doing. So I turn the opacity down. So now you can see the key. So this is where it's going to go. So maybe even a little bit bigger than that. Because what's happening lately is um, there's not enough space, I'm noticing. So I need a little bit more space. So I'm actually going to bring it down as well, so that there's more room underneath. And actually, I might as well stretch it. Okay, so all this is going to be, so the, the one that we can see through, that's going to be, that's going to be cut out of the body. So this should fit uh, perfectly fine inside it. Okay, so now let's bring back, got the helmet and you have the head. So I'm going to bring those back and just join them. So this will be, all this will be cut. So let's bring back everything else. Oh, did I make that big too? Oh, I don't think I meant to do that. So the only thing I messed up on is, uh, I think I made all of these uh, bigger, and I don't think I wanted to do that. So I'm just going to delete them, bring everything back again, and we'll just take the helmet and we'll clone it, and then we'll take the head and clone it, and put them back. So now all of these we should be able to join. So now we have our cut. Let's hide all of these. OK, 
Okay, I want to make sure that nothing is blending, so I'm going to turn everything back to opaque. Let's make sure everything is opaque. Okay. And now I want to have just the cut, so just this. And the body. Alright, let me save this. So now we just need to do a boolean operation. So we're going to take cut, we want to be deleted, and we want to take body. So I'm going to turn off cut. I don't really see the key. Wait, hold on. Let me just hide this and make sure that... Okay, I just wanted to make sure that, that the key was there. Or the cut was there. So now I'm going to hide that bring back the body and now when we voxel remesh it should cut this shape out of the body so let's do another quick save and we'll do voxel remesh and I'm gonna voxel remesh really high because there's a lot of details in the body that I don't want to lose so I'm gonna do it really I'm gonna do it really high absurdly high and we'll remesh Here we go. So now we have our body and we have our cut. This makes me a little nervous. I'm not sure if we'd be able to see it. So let's check uh, if we bring back the head and the key. You are still able to see that. Hmm. So that could be an issue. It is an issue. So I need to, I need to fix that somehow. Is it the key? Oh yeah, I think it's this cutting into it a little bit too much. Okay, so, um, so maybe this won't be as difficult. So we have the key and we have the cut. So you know what? Let's take the, uh, let's take the cut and separate. Okay, so here's the cut, and here's the key. So let's take both of these and move them forward. So if we move them forward, then let's take a look at the body. I think we should be good. So now I can take cut and join them back up again. So that should be all of that. Okay, so now everything should be in its proper place. Okay, I think everything is in its proper place now. So we can do, uh, so here's the key, here's the cut. So all we need is the body, the key, and the cut. Actually, we don't even need the key. We just need the cut. So we have the cut. We have the body again. Hide the cut. Save, since I made those changes. And now we should be able to voxel remesh. Did I do 700 before? 700, and we'll remesh them together. Hopefully... I didn't make any more dumb, dumb mistakes. There we go. Everything is neatly inside. Uh, all the detail is still here on the body. It looks good. So now when I bring back uh, everything, I guess. I'm going to bring everything. So this should, this should fit nicely on the head.
And now let's look at the key. So we have the antennae, head, helmet, key. Helmet, antennae, helmet, fins, tongue, teeth, eyes, not the body. So now, because um, I'm going to color him, so I, I want everything separate because it's easier to color uh, as far as like a render goes. Um, but when I export to STL, it doesn't matter that this stuff is separate. So I might just leave it separate. Because you don't have to, and it, when it's separate, it keeps the detail. But I notice when I remesh this at 700, the details are really nice. So maybe I will uh, voxel merge. But now I have the head. Whoops, of course I forget. Uh, there's other parts. Other parts of the, the head, but that's okay. So now here's just the, that's the key. And that'll go in there. And it looks like there's a decent amount of space that it shouldn't be. Shouldn't be too much of a problem going in. Looks like a Pez dispenser. But yeah, that's about it. Um, hopefully that helps. Of course, you can do that to any any of these shapes. You can just make keys, and you can do the same thing to any of these shapes in any place. Um, but it, it gets it gets a little bit complicated with like the printing. Some things may warp, so I'm still working on that. But uh, it's been really fun since that's been working and I can show you an example of what I'm doing so here are some examples of um, of what I was doing I don't have the body for Bowser uh, because it's it was like leaking resin, but here you can see the key underneath. Oops, let me uh, refocus this so you can see the key underneath. I did it the exact same way, um, and this is actually a hole that you can put in the slicing software when you print. Uh, I don't know what these lines. I don't know I don't, these lines shouldn't be there, but you put the hole there so that all the resin and like everything can drain out of here when you print. Uh, same thing with this guy. You can see this one I, I primed, and this is the similar thing, and this fits uh, in here. You see, it's a, it's a bit tight, but that's fine. Um, but now I can paint this separately. Uh, and the eyes and stuff too, I can paint all of those separately. And this was um, an earlier one that I did, and the head is, I used like a sphere, uh, which is fine. I mean, it worked out okay. For some reason, I like the square. I like the square better. All right, so I uh, hope that helps. I know a lot of people were asking me about that, uh, and it's a little tricky. And of course, I'm still getting used to everything. So, you know, you'll have to experiment as well. But hopefully, this this helps and shows you the way that I do them. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.